I'm Kelly Thornber. I'm a research fellow in biosciences and I work on the issue of antimicrobial resistance, which is a global challenge whereby the microbes that cause disease are becoming resistant to the drugs that we use to kill them. Hello, I'm Simon Ryder. I'm an investigative artist and I've been working with the Antimicrobial Resistance Network here at Exeter University. And he was able to meet with the different people within the network. So we set him up with meeting people with really different viewpoints about the issue of antimicrobial resistance and soon realised that it's so huge, it's so vast, um, the scope of what um, we do and the issue itself. Um, and But he, he did a great job of taking it all in and soaking it all up. Um, and then actually, whereas I thought he might give a different perspective on the issue, he, what he was really interested in was the network itself and working interdisciplinary. I've always been really uh, inquisitive and um, nosy and wanting to find out about things. And this seemed like an ideal opportunity with the network uh, to really explore around um, and talk to many different people from many different fields, um, which is always interesting because they have such different approaches to the same problem. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed that. One of the challenges that came up was um, actually the clash of culture almost between um, the science um, sort of rigidity of um, the research and, and the creativity that Simon brought. So his interest, the way his sort of thinking started moving was towards a project that really kind of turns the network on itself. The core of the project is the idea of stopping to look at the, not look, no longer looking at the individuals in the network, but actually looking at the network as a whole. I mean, you, you, you've seen murmurations of starlings, these incredible morphing forms. And it, it's along those lines. It's the group that counts, not the individual. And I want to sample the researchers in the network. And that's everything. So starting from their gut and doing a gut sample to find out what microbes are in there, to see whether there's any connection between the different people in terms of gut, and then go up a level and talk about the qualities and how they approach their work as a scientist within the network, and then go even further and, and, and uh, sample how they see scientific research within the wider context of where we're headed and, and how, um, what other things might be needed. So to sample the researchers right from their gut up to their head. And it's really been interesting to open my mind to all the different ways that you can engage with people. Um, and I think the type of artist and the type of art obviously has different audiences. And for me as a science communicator, that's really interesting because um, yeah, I, it's opened my mind to the scope of how I could engage with different audiences. For me, in my work, creativity is really important because antimicrobial resistance is a global challenge. Um, if we don't do something about it soon, we will be going back to the dark ages where antibiotics don't work and a simple infection could kill. And so creativity is a way that we can take the messaging from the, from the academics, from the governments, and try and bridge the action gap between that and societal action to engage with the public and stakeholders and try and really see some impact um, and some action.